Hi guys and welcome back to my plan of perfection. This is Nikita and I'm really excited to plan next week in Mastology. I feel like it's been forever since I planned in here, but it hasn't. I'm just being dramatic as per. <laughs> um, so let's see what was last week's day. It was okay, so we're planning the 25th until the first i think it will be which oh my god the first of may that's crazy um so i'm gonna be using this kit from wendy prince and it's called rainy day um i am aware that this is a super old kit i've had it years and i used it i want to say i used it in a bullet journal type thing but i've had it years and i was looking through my kits this morning and I thought, if I don't use this now, I'm not going to use it in May because I'm doing Mermaid. So let's just use it. So these are, I'm just going to flip through. You can obviously see what there is. And as you can see, I definitely enjoyed using the checklists. I may potentially need to bring in some habit trackers. Um, but yeah, I, I quite like this kit. Uh, and I've, I, have, I have been hoarding it, but... Today is the day we're going to use it. So I'm going to do my favourite layout, which is two days to a page. Um, I was going to bring in this washi tape from Primark, but I'm not. I mean, I did use it last week and I think I'm going to use it this week as well. Because I was going to use this bow washi tape, but it's looking a little bit, I don't know, dull. I want something a little bit brighter. So, yeah, the other three are simply gilded um let's see i think we're ready to just jump right in um yeah so i think i'm going to start with my washi tape um how am i going to do it? what i'm going to do is i'm going to put my washi down first and then um measure out the days <laughs> i'll get my words out um, so I did go ahead and split this washi in half. Um, I'm thinking of doing this. You know what? I might not even use that check washi type. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, so I'm just going to put this one down at the bottom. And I'm going to try and follow the grid. I do something and it's super annoying. Oh dear, I'll just rip the page up a little bit. I don't know if anyone else does this, but I always pull my washi tape too tight. Right. So I'm trying to be conscious that to not do that. Um, but that's really pretty washi. Um, am I going to do... Yeah, I'm just going to do this one going along the bottom on the pages. And this is where it's really obvious that I can't cut straight. <laughs> but it's okay. I'm so excited, guys, to set up my May in Mastology. So I'm doing like an auctiony mermaid theme, which I can't wait for. I did decide to take Mastology out the cover as well while I'm filming, just because, oops, apparently I haven't cut that one quite right. Yeah, it was becoming a bit of a pain um, to take the photos and stuff. So I will obviously still keep it in the cover. I'm not going to actually cut the... Um, cut down i'm just going to pull against like that because i keep um cutting holes in my strategy yeah um i'm really enjoying it still like living my best life with it i just yeah it's just a bit bulky and i feel like it's never in frame properly so i decided while i film it can have a little rest <laughs> okay so this one i think i'm gonna have to trim it yeah 
that's fine. If I do it like this, maybe. It's my own fault for not measuring. And I'm hoping I haven't ripped through the page. To be fair, this blade's a little bit blunt anyway. But apparently, <laughs> I can't cut today. Yeah, so how is everyone? I hope you're all well. I mean, I was well until I decided to not measure my bottom washer. <laughs> I think we're there now. Whoops. You know what? That's going to do. I might go and tidy it up later, but for now, that will do. I knew this kit was just going to be a problem. <laughs> no, I didn't really. Um, it's fine. So, top washing. This is the question. Do I alternate? Um, I need to go look at the four boxes. That's what I need to do. Because there is a lot of patterns. Hmm. No, I'm not going to. I'm just going to do this one. And it is such a pretty washi tape. So I'm just going to line that up, hopefully. <laughs> but yeah, I've just, I felt, I've completely fell in love with this washi tape, guys. It's really pretty. Like every time, whoops, I've opened my planner. I've just enjoyed seeing it, so why not? I'm sorry if it's a bit repetitive for you guys, um, but yeah, I promise next week I'll use a different watch tape. <laughs> um, let's try we go in this way. Whoops. But yeah, I am just completely and utterly in love with Mostology. But yeah, I hope you're all well. And I hope you've all been enjoying whatever it is that you've been up to. Let's, I need to turn this round again now. My week's been a bit hit and miss, to be honest. I've really been struggling with my, um, my mental health and, like, my paranoia and stuff. Um, I just, I have really paranoid days. Um, like, to the point, if I'm out... I think everyone's like staring at me and I just like I just get really paranoid and I get like all panicky. Um yeah, and I just have panic attacks, like <laughs> it is what it is. Um but yeah. Um we went out for my granddad's birthday. We only went for like a meal. Um but that was hard. But it it's <sighs> It's one of them, isn't it? I don't want to miss out on things because of my mental health. So if I can, like, met myself, then I will. And I just had the next day, like, to recuperate. But I really like that, um, especially if I trim this bit off. <laughs> yeah, so I hope you're all having a better week than me anyway. And I'm just hoping that next week will be better. I am excited tonight though because I'm filming this on Friday um, and once I film this I've got a couple of things to do and then I've got my niece for the night so we're gonna um, do some exciting things I would think although I'm really tired so I'm hoping those exciting things will mean um, you know not being quiet but just not like she likes when she stays we like stay up and watch films and like she likes to dance and things like that right so we've got 15 so we need 7.5 she's 
she's about there yeah she's very energetic Lexi is um and I don't mind I will be one of I'm one of those people I will get up and dance and have lots of fun with that but I'm just tired today <laughs> right I feel like either of those would go so let's go for the the cooler toned one I think it is um yeah so I'm gonna add some rose gold into this spread just because I'm feeling it Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely feeling my rose gold lately. And it was always my least favourite foil, but yeah, I don't know what happened. I just fell in love with it. But it was my favourite when I started planning to. God, that's a few years ago now. I always remember getting my first Erin Condrian planner and, oh, guys... I felt like the bee's knees. I'd use like other planners and I don't know. Back then, like EC was all the range, like. Um, and when I got one, oh, I got it in a D stash. I think I got it and it, it had the first um, few months missing. So I think I started it in the April, if I remember correctly. But yeah, oh my God. I'll have to get that out at some point and have a look um, at like my very first like Erin Condren spreads and stuff. Because what I used to do back in the day, back in the day, <laughs> um, is I got a cheap planner off Amazon. It was a ring binder. And I think it was like, I want to say like £10-ish. And I made my own inserts and they were awful, but I still used them. Because I didn't want to get into something. Because obviously we all know what it's like. Um, you can quickly fall down the rabbit hole. But I didn't want to like spend, I think it was about £50, £60 pound at the time. Um, for an Erin Condren and then I think it was customs on top as well so yeah I did, I did a ring binder oh that's pretty I like that so I'm going to start on my this way yeah I did a ring binder I made my own inserts and then I got one in a D stash quite cheap and as they say the rest is history Right, so there is a plain box that I could use for this week, but I don't think I want to use that one. Um, how do I want to do this? Because all I'm really tra um, tracking at the minute is my... How many boxes do we have? Two, four, six. Oh, I can do a four box as well. Yeah, all I'm really tracking is skincare and meds so i could just do that yeah let's just do this one and i'm gonna get some maybe some washi tape and i really like this one. Oh, are these headers oh they're really pretty headers i wanted something a little bit thicker let's try these yeah but yeah guys let me know down below what was your first planner so mine was a really dodgy ring binder, which ironically I'm back in now, just obviously a much better one. Okay, so I'm going to do that. And what I do um, when I track two things on a weekly box like this is let's get some stickers. And you could write this in, but I want to use a sticker. Um, so I'll get a, maybe a skincare sticker. I'm sure I've got, yeah. Can you hear my dogs? She's up, she's up the window again. Um, she sits up the window barking at people going past and I need a medication sticker. So, oh, preview, which I haven't finished yet. My pre-planning for my um, memory spread. 
Um, I need a medication sticker and I know I've got a blue one because as I say I was pulling stickers last night yeah there it is from my shop um yeah I was pulling stickers um for my memory spread and I was like hmm I need to remember that's there so I'm just gonna put one this side and one this side and I'll just tick them off as I take them super simple Okay, so I am going to do just a checklist um, just to put in, just in case there's anything. Do I want to use, I'm going to use the box, I think. Oh, I like that one. But um, I don't know if you, I've mentioned this before, but whenever there's pattern boxes, I try and use them first um, in a spread just because they won't go with another. Yeah, so we're going to use these. Yeah, they won't go with another. Another spread, basically. They're harder to match up, aren't they? Right, so I know there's headers. I've seen headers. I did see headers. Um, Do I want... Oh, there is this week. I'm just going to put that in there. Um... I'm just going to do an important... Um, and to keep it in with the theme, I am going to match it up. Oh my gosh, she's, I'm going to have to literally get my phone. Or oh, I've got a spare phone. <laughs> I know that sounds weird. It's just my old iPhone. I'm going to have to charge it next time I film. So when I'm filming, I can insert a clip of what the dog does. Okay, that's cute. Um, and I'm just going to put some deco in. I, I'm sure, yeah, there is pretty deco. Um, let's do the girl. Oops, she's a little bit miscut. I hope this isn't a sign of things to come with this sheet. There we go. We can use the pink one. And let's do... I quite like the welling, the wellies. So this is the problem when you have stickers for so long. Um, and then I'm going to do a floral. Let's do, I quite like this little blue one. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing that's because the stickers are quite old. And let's straighten this one up before I forget. Cute. So there's that. Um, let's get the date covers and let's do the date dots. So let's get my tweezers. Where do you think I've put my tweezers, guys? I wish I could show you a picture of my desk too right now because that's a hot mess. Um, did we say the 24th or the 25th? I'm now going to check that in my calendar. Um, just, um, someone asked me, I think in my last video or the one before, where these are from and they're just free principles from the Coffee Monsters Co. Facebook group. But I did want to mention, um, I think you can go ahead and actually buy them already printed from the shop. I'm sure I responded to that comment, but in case I didn't, I just wanted to quickly mention that. So yeah, we're on the 25th until the 1st. Guys, what is it with me forgetting to cut my wash, eh? Yeah, it's the 25th. Yeah, we've got them. And these are just um, Erin Condren date darts, but I quite like these ones. So, yeah, I was looking through my kits, and obviously I chose this one because I've been hoarding it for so long. But the weather, it's kind of like... Yeah, the weather's gone really cloudy and grey um, yesterday and today. So it just kind of feels fitting to be using like an April showers kit right now. So yeah, I like a bit of matchy matchy. Mm. 
Right, and then the first of my OMG. Ooh, while I think about it, I want to add. I'm sorry if this video is all over the place, guys. I want to see if I've got a May script handy, and then I can just write Hello May. Because I have got May. I've got quite a few Mays. So let's get a box, and then I can just keep it for reference. Not reference, but I'm, I'm, if I do it, it, it sticks in my memory better, basically. And I want to use the pretty um, flowery one. Okay, so let's just, why is this so hard to choose a script? Um, and I might add some deco too. So I'm just gonna put the script in May and then I'll just, I'm gonna get a fine liner pen. And I think this is just like a cheap AliExpress one. But I do just want to check that sometimes there's extra ink around the edge. There we go. And that's a really dodgy hello, but there you go. Um, so, deck covers. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. This may be a little bit of a longer video. Whoops. But it's okay, I hope. I know some people do prefer the longer videos and then other people, it's just not their cup of tea. And I'm one of them people, if I see like, um, oh, who have I been watching a lot of? Like Rachel Beauty Plans or Planner Face or Talks From The Heart, them like who I've been watching recently. And if I see that they've uploaded a video and it's on the longer end of things, I'm really happy. Um, the other day, I think Talks From The Heart uploaded like an hour long video. And I saw, I went in the kitchen, got me a fresh drink. And did I get, a, I think I got a chocolate bar maybe. And I lived my best life. <laughs> and yeah and I, I pulled out my um i've got like a blanket i've got my chocolate i've got my drink pulled out my stickers and pulled my stickers for my memory spread and oh, guys it was just so nice i love it so yeah i am one of them people that does prefer a longer video but at the same time <laughs> Sometimes if you've got, do you know what I mean? If you've got like, I don't know, 15 minutes before you've got to leave to, or 15 minutes for the washer to finish, anything like that. Um, it's nice because I'll just put a, a shorter video on and I'm like, once this is finished, I know I've got to do this kind of thing. Okay, so there's the date covers down and I'm loving this. Do you know what? I'm really happy that I chose this um, kit. Okay, so... I want to measure to see if we've got room for headers or not. I do want to kind of move this out of the way though. There we go. Um, I really like that girl. And this lily toe, it's, oh, it's just all beautiful. I want to start with this umbrella though. Yeah, I've got room for a header, so I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use these. So I'm just gonna pop the header down. And then the full box. And there's just enough room. But I really like how that looks. So I'm going to put my headers down. We'll know how well or how bad I've done with my measuring when I put these full boxes down now. Uh. 
But I love the fact that I originally got my Stalogy, um and I was going to use it for like kit off cuts. Off kit. I'm struggling with the stickers. I just need to use my tweezers. Yeah, I was going to use it for like my kit leftovers and stuff. And I'm finding that I prefer using a full kit in my Stalogy and like my leftovers in my memory because my memory planner is a lot smaller. Um, I don't need as much room. She's winding me up, guys. <laughs> Send help. <laughs> she just doesn't leave me alone. Yeah, so it's quite funny, really, but I suppose that's just the way sometimes it works out. But yeah, I think some of the nostalgia, it's just not, it's my one true love, guys. It really is. Okay, so I want to do, I do love that one. Do you know what? I'm going to do this one up here just because the pattern, I don't want to put it right next to the washer. You know what? I'm not mad at that. There's a tiny scap, but yeah, I can live with that. Let's do this lily because it's really pretty. And actually, yeah, I love that so much. And guys, I didn't even think I'd like this kit that much. I want to use this window because it's beautiful. It is stunning. I've been watching how people um, create sticker kits as well on, is it Silhouette, Silhouette Studio? Because I finally caved and brought a, um, a Silhouette. Um, I got the Portrait 3, I think it is. I'm just gonna put the planner on Sunday because that's when I do my memory spreads. Yeah, so I finally caved. So the shop should be opening, <laughs> I want to say soon, but, okay, how do I want to do this? Let's do this one here. Yeah, I want to say soon, but I'm not going to make any promises yet because it's a brand new software. So I've got to learn all that. Um, I have made a start and actually I will show you. I did make a start yesterday and I just used some free printables from Paper Shire. Um, and they didn't come out bad at all. So I'm absolutely happy with that. I'm really happy with the print quality because I've upgraded. I'm just going to do the flower there, I think. Yeah, I've upgraded my paper, which has just made a huge difference to the print quality. So I want to get it right, basically, before I open up again. Okay, so headers, let's do, you know what? I'm just gonna go off the color and I wanna use the to-do. And then I'll put them down and put my checklists down. So yeah, um, yesterday I had maybe an hour, hour and a half. Oh my God. And yeah, um, I was absolutely terrified to be completely truthful because brand new machine and all that. Um, I've never used Silhouette before, but I wasn't mad. But YouTube was definitely my best friend yesterday. But I think, who was it I watched? I did all I know as well. I think it was Laura Sticker Call or something like that. She um showing how she designs the kits. And I think it was the carnival kit that she was designing. And it's it's made me want to go and buy that kit. <laughs> so I am I'm gonna probably wait for a sale. If it's still in the shop, obviously, because I know some shops um like retire the sticker kits don't they like they only have them like seasonal kits in and stuff but yeah um if it's still available i may possibly wait for a sale 
I'm not sure if she's got a PR team or not. If she's got a PR team, I might, I might not wait. <laughs> but yeah, definitely need to go and get that kit because it's absolutely beautiful. Okay, so... I suppose I could have done foiled headers, couldn't I? But, oh well. Let's get my checklists out. Now, the plan is... Oh, I've got some beautiful lily blossom designs there. Um, what is the plan, guys? I'm going to get some checklists. I was going to use these ones. That was the plan. Um, I'll, let's just see what else. I don't know if I've got anything else. Ooh, those are pretty from Lily Blossom Designs. I might put a couple of them in. Ooh, yeah, for the Hello May. Apparently, my checklist situation is quite sad. So we're going to use them. <laughs> um, where's my tweezers gone? I tried, right? <laughs> but these are just made um, out of vinyl. Um, let's just line them up. Because I feel like once they're down, they're not going to come up. With it being permanent vinyl, so. They are quite pretty. I do really like these. I was just experimenting um, with my Cricut, wasn't I? Um, but yeah, pretty, very pretty. But yeah, so obviously Lent's finished and that now. Um, and what I'm going to do, um, we did have a McDonald's and it wasn't all that, to be honest. Um, not how I remembered it, basically. <laughs> but Saturday, Saturday? Yeah, this Saturday. Well, Saturday just gone if you're watching this because I'm uploading this on the Sunday and I'm filming on the Friday before. But I'm going to treat myself to a Chinese from my favourite Chinese place. Right, where's my Hello May sticker gone? I can't believe we're saying hello to May. Right, so I'm going to put that at the top. And then I'm just going to use this underneath. Like that. And I really like how that looks. And then a checklist. Oops. Underneath, I'm hoping there's enough room. Just. I quite like that. Okay, and then I want to look at the decal. Because there is quite a bit of deco in here. So, well, I say quite a bit because this sheet. Um, yeah, so let's look at this sheet of deco and get my tweezers if I can find them. There they are. And maybe I'm just going to put some deco in the corners or something. Um, I do kind of want to try and get this girl off if I can. Yeah. Whoops. Um, and I'm just going to put her in that corner like that. Because she's so beautiful. Okay. Um, let's do a lily on this page. And I'm just going to stick it there. Um... Oh, should we do the watering can by the flowers? I think that'd be cute. Yeah, try not to stick all the deco in the same spots. 
yeah that's cute um and then i want to put something up here maybe the flowers maybe like that um and what do we want to do i'm trying not to um use the same clip art on the same page um yeah let's put this here oh i could just put it no let's put it here um oh my god you could play a shot game right now take a shot for every time i go um <laughs> let's do some more florals because i do like them i'm gonna do the three of them i think a little wrong um and then up here i'm just gonna do an umbrella like that so i think guys we are finished um there's nothing i need to write in right now so yeah so let's see what we've got left because I don't always do this, but I'm, I'm forever trying to remember to do it. Um, so we've got nothing left on this sheet. We've got a full box and some quarter boxes. We've still got some headers and washi left. We've basically got the full functional sheet, just a checklist and a little box that I didn't even use in this spread. That was a previous spread. We've still got all this left. And all this deco, and I'd call these like functional stickers. So I'm really impressed with that. Um, I might use some of the boxes throughout the week, um, but I highly doubt it because I'm more of a in the week. I just like to write down what's going on. Um, but yeah, so guys, I really, really like how that came out. So thank you so much for watching. I'm just peeling my stickers up apparently. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and it would be amazing if you decided to subscribe and hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Bye.